And welcome to a new episode of PR360, and I'm your host, Brett Deister. Please subscribe to PR360 on all your favorite podcasting apps. We have a five-star review, and let's get to that number one spot in the business category. But this week, we're going to be talking about personal branding, social media, all the fun stuff you need to know to help you, hopefully not through a tough recession, but a little bit of a recession as well. But with me is an expert in this. His name is Harsh, and he is a social media marketer, content creator with 65,000 plus Instagram followers and author of Conquer Instagram Growth ebook. But welcome to the show, Harsh. Uh, hey, Brett. Thank you uh, for the invite. Uh, absolutely thrilled to be here. And my first question is all my guests is Are you a coffee or tea drinker? Uh, to be honest, I am a hardcore tea drinker. Uh, I just absolutely love tea. Also, I'm from India. So uh, we have this masala chai that we uh, call it there. So that's what I usually drink, uh, and that's my favorite. Mm. So that's your hardcore, like, go-to tea. It's like nothing else, no Earl Grey, no Jasmine no. Pearls, no, 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 such no thing. peach oolong. No, no, no <laughs> such thing. Just masala chai, and we just add a little bit of, little bit of ginger, uh, and we are good to go. All right. And I gave a brief introduction to you, but can you summarize your expertise to our listeners? Uh, sure. So basically, I'm a social media marketer. I started content creation uh, more than two years uh, back. Before that, I used to work at an ad agency where I got some experience in social media. And I thought that let's start a page. Uh, and I started my page during uh, the COVID, when the COVID first hit and we got our lockdown. That's when I started my page, where I started sharing everything about social media and how uh, small brands and also personal brands can uh, leverage social media and help uh, grow their business or just make some money out of that. So I basically help uh, small brands, small to medium brands, and also personal brands uh, leverage social media and how and help them make some money online. Gotcha. And so for personal brands that need help, like what, what worked with you with working with building up your personal brand? Was it basically like a content schedule? Was it posting every week? Like what, what was the one thing or a few things that actually helped you with that? Uh, so it basically depends on what my client usually wants, uh, but it ranges from a lot of things. Uh, it also ranges from content creation where I help them create content myself or I uh, just help them with it. Uh, I also uh, handle their social media pages uh, day in and day out. I help them engage on their social media. I help them build a community. So it ranges from a lot of things. It also has some sort of uh, business development that is lead generation. I also help manage their DMs. So a lot of things uh, that range from um, content creation to managing their page uh, is what basically I do. Gotcha. And then for those starting out, because maybe someone's like, man, I really got to get on this. Like I haven't done this or haven't really did a really great attempt at it. Yeah. Should they start with one social network and then work their way to other ones? Like how should they start this out? Uh, so I think yeah, a lot of people uh, are confused and they get it wrong. I think um, I have seen many personal brands. They just uh, hop on as many social media pages as much they can. They start on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, everywhere. Because they think the wider you go, the better it is for you. But it's actually wrong. Uh, and the right way to go about is is actually focus on only one platform initially and build your base, your community there. Because um, as you start your personal brand, it's just so difficult. You have to uh, just produce content day in and day out and just stay on top of your game every day. Because uh, if you don't post for two, three months, people will forget you and you are just as good as your last uh, post. Uh, so the first thing I would encourage people is to start uh, focusing only on one platform. Uh, for me, it was Instagram. Um, and it's not only about the work that you have to do, but also get to know about that platform because each platform works differently. So let's say if you're starting on YouTube, you need to understand how YouTube works and how you can actually grow there. So there's a lot of time investment that is involved. Uh, so of course, uh, going on one platform initially is the best way. Uh, and as you have a good solid base, a good number of followers, then you can just... Uh, push them on your other channels so it makes it gets easier for you to grow on other channels as well uh, and you grow much faster on other channels because you already have a base on one 
so yeah, that's the best way to go about it. Is there other social networks better than others to do that growth? Or is it more just understanding the social network to grow that following? I think it's more about the understanding and also what kind of brand you're building. Uh, if you think your target audience is on Instagram, go there first. Uh, start building your brand there. If you think uh, YouTube is more preferable to you, uh, then just go there first. Uh, it completely depends on what uh, brand you're building. Uh, especially for personal brands, I think Instagram and YouTube, uh, the two uh, rising platforms, uh, the best place to grow. Uh, there's also LinkedIn, which is uh, working quite well these days in terms of organic growth and content. Uh, so again, it goes on your personal goals. Goals. If I were to say, let's just start, start a brand tomorrow, my main uh, goal would be to uh, be on uh, Instagram and uh, YouTube at first, then I would jump on LinkedIn and then I would go on Twitter. So that would be my preference as such. But yeah, if you're starting out, then uh, stick to your goals, see where your audience is and then uh, start growing there. Is there a limit to a single person doing social networks? Like, is it like three and then stop? Or should, I mean, this is once you get uh, eventually get started. Or should you just try to be Gary Vee and be everywhere, even though he's got like a team of writers? Uh, so I think, again, it depends from person to person. It is possible to uh, stay on multiple platforms at once. Uh, I, I know many people who hop on from Insta to YouTube to Twitter to uh, even TikTok. Uh, but I think it's all about how you can repurpose your content. For example, I post one reel on Instagram. I can take that reel and just post it on TikTok or vice versa. Or I can just uh, take a carousal post and transform it into a LinkedIn post. So I think it gets easier as you grow, you just understand how you can repurpose, repurpose your content from one uh, platform to another. But of course you can't manage too much at a time. Uh, you obviously need a dedicated team or if you, if social media is something you do full-time, if you're just a full-time freelancer, then it gets easier for you because that's your full-time job. But if you just don't have that much time, then of course you need uh, a team to help you with uh, building your brand on various platforms. Uh, but yeah, it's possible for one person to do it if that's if you have the time. Gotcha. Is there some best ways of growing your personal brand in 2022? Is it short form videos, long form videos, pictures, maybe not so much pictures, but is, is there any like best ways of doing it? Uh, as for me, I think um, if you talk about short form video content, it's growing like crazy right now. You see Instagram pushing reels. Instagram is paying people to start making reels. So they really want short form content to work. You know how TikTok works really well in terms of organic growth. And now we also have YouTube shorts. Uh, so you see all these platforms going towards short form video content. And that's what I would say is the best thing to do, not just in 2022, but I think that would be the go-to strategy for everyone in 2023. And I think now Elon Musk took over Twitter. So we'll see uh, if he brings any kind of short form video content there. Uh, it might be possible that it does. You never know because that's what's trending right now. And also the consumption of people in terms of short form video content, it's, it's growing like mad because I think it's something that you don't have to spend a lot of time on. And also you can learn a lot, of from, a lot from that. And I also see personally my friends, myself, I just focus on short form video content. Even when I open... Instagram the reels is the first thing that I see because it's just so entertaining and educating at, at the same time, I don't have to spend that much time. So I think uh, short form video content is the best way to grow your personal brand in 2023. Gotcha. I mean, he did say he might bring back vine, which was the original yeah, TikTok. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, it was exactly. a six seconds think, only, but it was yeah. original one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I think that would be very interesting to see if he brings back wine I personally never got the chance to use it because it was long gone before I actually came into social media. But if it brings back it, I think a lot of people uh, would be excited for that. And I can already see so many chatter going about it on all the social media channels. So I think um, I think Logan Paul is one of those influencers who started on Wine and he just grew from there. So I think that was where he built his base community. And from there, he went to all the other channels. So I think Vine was really great back then. Yes. And I mean, should you diversify? You said short form content is great, but could you use a short form content with the long form content as well and kind of like bridge that gap? Because we can only say so much with short, with short form content and 
context is always key sometimes and long form can actually do that better. And then you could splice it up into short form as well. Could you use that type of dynamic content, I guess, strategy? Uh, so yeah, I have used that. Of course, right now I'm focusing much more on short term uh, content, content, but uh, I understand that uh, many times that you have a lot to say, so it's only possible through a carousel post or a long form uh, caption or a long YouTube video. So that's completely fine to do it uh, as long as there is demand for it and you think that people are actually uh, uh, waiting to see your entire video or your entire carousel. And that works pretty well. You just have to make sure that there is demand for it. And again, you can always repurpose that long form content into short form videos, which is very easy to do. For example, if you take a 10 page carousel, you can break it down in three or four parts and create those three, four parts into short from uh, reels, which you can always uh, post it whenever you want. So I think uh, converting long form into short form is the best way to go about it. But yeah, even I post long form content from time to time. It, it depends on the topic and what I actually want to talk about. If I can finish within a few seconds, then really is the best way to go. If I feel that it requires uh, a lot of explanation, then I think a carousal or a single post is a much better way to go about it. So I think a, a combination of both the strategies is uh, a definitely a good way to go about it. Gotcha. And then is it getting harder to create your personal brand with everything out there with all these different social networks to actually choose from as well? Because you <laughs> I mean, you could start one and be like, I don't think this one's actually for me and then go somewhere else. You're like, well, maybe this one's for me, but is it getting really harder to actually do that since everybody's trying to create their own personal brand? Yeah, I think it's getting much difficult uh, these days because you see new pages, new personal brands popping every day in and day out. But again, it's uh, many times it's our own fault because we don't have the patience to be on one platform. Uh, I've seen people jumping on one platform and being there for only a month and coming to the conclusion that it's not for them. But I think you need a lot more patience. I think four to five months you need to spend on one platform, understand it, see how the response is and only then take a decision because one month is too less to understand if something works for you or not. And I think it's partly our fault. And again, partly nowadays, uh, everyone wants to be an influencer. Everyone wants to build a personal brand because they understand the benefit of it. They see it as a, a source of uh, earnings for them. Uh, so I think people are jumping on it left, right, and center. Uh, so it's definitely difficult, but I wouldn't say impossible. There are many pages who grow. Successfully, I've seen pages grow from 0 to 100K in a year, and I've seen pages grow from 0 to 10K in a year. So there's a lot of difference between them because they both adopted a different strategy, and there's a lot of patience required. So yeah, that would be it. Mm. Gotcha. And then how should people use their time wisely to create a personal brand? Because like you said, it's patience and I would say also persistence as well. So how should they use that time wisely to create that? Because you could post a lot of content, but you time, it might not be time well spent. Right, right. So I think um, uh, nowadays, because since not everyone can afford to, you know, uh, get out of their job and spend three, four hours every day on social media platform, I get it. It's difficult. And that's when, if you have the, uh, money with you, you can, uh, definitely have someone to help you with that. It makes it a lot easier and a lot quicker to grow on these social media pages. And it definitely pays you off, uh, much better. Uh, but if you're just starting out, then you can definitely take it slow for the first, uh, one or two months, uh, just get to know what the page is like, what the platform is like, how you can actually get the attention of people, what content you can post. Uh, but of course you need some bit of investment because, because, uh, without that, you just can't go on these social media platforms, whether you're doing it yourself or you're paying someone else to do it, you definitely have to spend some time. So even if you're working from nine to five, you have to come home at least spend an hour, um, if not every day, at least two days, at least spend an hour on uh, understanding what the platform is, uh, create some kind of content or just uh, support your uh, person who is helping you with your social media. So there's no denying that you need to uh, put in some time. Uh, of course, you don't need to waste a lot of time if you think the the benefits are just not worth it. Uh, and I'm again not saying that it's compulsory for everyone to start building a personal plan at the first one person to person. There are many people who are happy with their nine to five job. So they definitely don't want to spend a lot of time on social media and they are as far as from it as they can. But if some, if you really want it, if you think that this is something that will make you happy, this is something that they can help you earn more, 
then you need to find the time to do it uh, or else it just won't be possible. So, I mean, you could say personal branding is like a scalable thing. So some people have a low scale for personal branding. They don't really care because they have their 95 job and their friends and whatever are basically where they influence all the way to the celebrity influencers that influence millions of people. So, I mean, there could be a scalable thing where you don't spend as much time, but you still spend a little time on like your little close knit group, I guess is the best way of saying it. Exactly. I think you summed it up pretty right. I think uh, it depends on you how much you want to invest. Uh, um, let's say uh, that if there's someone who wants to, who is earning like 30 percent, 30 to 40 percent of their income from personal branding, and they're just happy with that, so then they can just continue doing what they are doing along with their nine to five job. Uh, but then there's people who just want to quit their jobs and just start their own personal brand and start their business, start scaling a lot. Then the priority, of course, changes. You need to spend much more time. You have to figure out a strategy for that as well. So I think it differs from person to person. Uh, and what your goals are ultimately. Gotcha. And then fun question for you. What is your favorite social media? So my favorite social media, of course, I'm much biased towards uh, Instagram because that's what I usually use on a day in and day out basis because I just love the kind of content it provides to me. It's entertaining. It's educating. Uh, and there's just so much to it. But again, I am... Uh, I also love YouTube. I wouldn't say it as a proper social media like Instagram and Facebook where you connect with people, but it's more of a viewing platform. But I absolutely love YouTube because uh, there's just such broad type of content that you get there. Uh, and I absolutely love it. So I would say YouTube is my favorite social media. Uh, and let's say, and let's see what uh, Twitter has for us uh, next year. True. And then where can people find you online? Uh, the best place to find me is on Instagram, on my page, that is harsh.content. Uh, that is uh, spelled as H-A-R-S-H dot C-O-N-T-E-N-T. All right. Any final thoughts for listeners? Uh, so I think that would be it. Uh, also for any of our listeners who want to start a personal brand, they can definitely get in touch with me on my Instagram page. And I would just like to tell them that if they are planning to build a personal brand that, uh, no time is the right time. You just have to go about it and just start doing it. Uh, you will face a lot of difficulties, but that's what makes it worth it. And along with that, I have personally experienced that I've learned so many skills because of just creating content, which I have been able to monetize. So it's just not helped me to earn more. It's uh, helped me to grow as a person, as a professional, which can also help me in my own job life. So I would say it's the best thing that has ever happened to me. So if someone is planning to do uh, planning to build a personal brand then just just go right do it all right well thank you harsh for joining pr360 and sharing knowledge in social media and personal branding thank thank you Brett, for the invite thank you so much and thank you for listening to pr360 as always please subscribe to pr360 and all your favorite podcasting apps leave a five-star review let's get to that number one spot in the business category all right as always please join us next week we talk to to another great thought leader in the PR industry. All right, guys, stay safe. Get to understanding your personal brand and which social network will help you. And see you next week. Later.